Joining me now is former Tennessee State Representative Justin Jones. Representative Jones, thank you so much for coming to the Saturday show. Uh, thank you so much for having me, Jonathan. It's an honor to be here. So you have support in your district uh, and can now be reappointed, but do you believe the super the Republican supermajority vote will supermajority will vote to seat you? What's your next move? I mean, we are dealing with a body that has completely burned the Constitution. Um, we, we see that they operate without any type of regard for democracy. And so that's going to be the question. It's going to be up to, you know, Speaker Sexton, who is the extremist uh, Republican speaker who has taken control of Tennessee. Um, and I know some members of his staff had already expressed that they may not seat me, that um, something in the resolution will prevent them from seating me. But we know that the will of the voters should be ultimate. Uh, the will of my county government should be ultimate. And so um, we, we you know, are waiting to see what happens next. Uh, like so many with power in history, Tennessee Republicans in trying to stamp out marginalized, vo marginalized voices may have inadvertently given them power. Do you think this national attention will change things in Tennessee? I mean, things are changing in Tennessee, even in, in the span of 48 hours. I mean, the Republican supermajority who has operated without any light, without any accountability, the nation and the world are watching them. And, and people, what they saw on Thursday, so many people were shocked. They were outraged. But for us, that was just another day at the Tennessee General Assembly. And so what is changing are all those young people, those thousands of young people who were at the Capitol um, since this mass shooting occurred at Covenant Elementary School, fighting for their lives. And, and what, they, what they're what they doing is lifting up a generational shift in Tennessee, that that Republican supermajority is not going to represent the future of our state, but we believe in multiracial democracy. We believe in a community that's at peace with itself, where our kids can go to schools without fear of a mass shooter that has easy access to weapons of war. Uh, Representative Jones, I want you to stick, uh, stick with us, because joining our conversation is California Congresswoman Barbara Lee, who is currently running for Senate. <clears throat> Congresswoman Lee, as always, thank you for coming to the show. Um, it is very poignant to have you on the program this morning because Representative Jones was your intern. What's your reaction on what's happening in Tennessee and your reaction to this young man and the leadership that he's been showing this last week? Well, first, uh, hello, Justin. It's so good to see you. And I just want to tell you how deeply grateful we are and how proud we are here in Oakland for your continuing this fight for, for justice and to save lives and for our democracy. Uh, everyone here understands and knows Justin, because Justin, uh, I just have to say quickly, uh, came through uh, the Oakland NAACP in an AXO Leadership Academic Achievement Program. We knew early on that uh, Justin was a leader. Early on, we knew that Justin, and, and Justin, I have to remind you, you know, I wanted to hire you, and, and as God would have it or as fate would have it, someone say, you decided you would go back to Tennessee. And that was the right move for you to make. And I tell you, what you're doing now, you're at the forefront, like young people historically have been, in, in fighting for our democracy. You're fighting for uh, making sure that, that uh, our erosion uh, to freedom of speech does not occur. You're fighting these anti-democratic forces uh, for our children, for the safety of our children and our communities. And so I just want to say to you, uh, we uh, are with you. Continue with this struggle and this fight. And uh, we know now what, what, what we know here in Oakland, California, and in California, now the world knows. As you said, the world is watching. And, and so just thank you for continuing this fight. And we stand by you. And whatever we need to do to be there with you, we're there with you. Congresswoman Lee, um, I am sitting here uh, trying to hold it together because on the screen right now, um, Representative Jones talked about a generational shift. Uh, that's happening in Tennessee right now. And what I'm seeing on this screen is literally a generational shift. For folks who, who, who have watched this program, um, and for, certainly for those who don't know, Congresswoman Lee got into politics um, to work on Shirley Chisholm's presidential campaign. I don't know if you were as, as young as Representative Jones is now, but the things you were, you were fighting for back then are things 
basically that Representative Jones is fighting for today, Congresswoman Lee, 55 years after the, the, the assassination of Martin Luther King. Can you please talk to us about what it means that right now in this country, the fights that you were fighting are still being fought by the young man uh, on the other side of this screen? Well, Jonathan, I also, uh, and I think you know this, I was a community worker with the Black Panther Party, feeding hungry children, protesting because uh, people didn't have enough to eat here in California and in uh, Oakland specifically. And so I, I'm reminded, and, and uh, Justin reminds me of Dr. King and what he said in terms of the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. We've made a lot of progress in this country, but we haven't addressed the basic issue of white supremacy and institutional racism. And Jonathan, I, I remember the picture when I think we may have first met in Selma, Alabama. Mm -hmm. uh, he was there with uh, Reverend Barber fighting, you know, for uh, making sure we lift people out of poverty, fighting for democracy. And so we have to continue this fight. It's not it's multi-generational. I mean, we had, what, 250 years of, of, ens of enslaved Africans here in this country. And so the D in this country's DNA is white supremacy and racism. And so this is a marathon. It's, it's not a, a mm -hmm. sprint. And Jonathan, I, I just want to say, Justin, uh, Jonathan, is continuing with this fight. These young people are leading. These young people are showing up and say, we ain't waiting anymore. No more waiting. We're going to... Uh, claim our right in this country, our rights mm -hmm. in this country, and we're not going to sit down and let these people uh, develop uh, an anti-democratic strategy to turn this country into an autocracy where only mm -hmm. one point of view is, is heard or seen. Representative Jones, we've got a minute left. I'm going to give you the last word. What is your message to Tennessee, but also to the country? about what you're what you are fighting for yeah, I, I just want to say too to my one of my dear inspirations congressman lee you know who, who has stood up against the violence of militarism and that's what we're calling for we're calling for peace and justice here in the south and in tennessee calling for peace and justice for our children uh, i know congressman lee took many risks when she was a profile in courage voting against these you know reckless wars. And so that's what we're trying to do, take these weapons of war off our street. But what I will say to the young people of America is that if we were not powerful, they would not try so hard to stop us. Um, you know, I was the youngest black lawmaker in Tennessee, formerly, and now I'm a lawmaker in exile, is what I say, because um, they were afraid of our voice. They're afraid of the generational shift coming to America, the reckoning that, that our generation says that we don't have to wait for some other time, but there comes a time which time itself is ready for a change. That time has come for Tennessee and for America. And so my message just the young people that, that we must continue to step into our power to hold these forces of white supremacy and patriarchy accountable and let us build a new South and in so doing build a new nation um, because they say the South will rise again. I want to say the South will rise anew. And that's why I'm here in Nashville at Fisk University actually right now, um, uh, you know, a place where young people like Diane Nash and John Lewis transformed this nation. And it's our time again. Um, Justin Jones, thank you. Congresswoman Barbara Lee, thank you both for coming to the show and for doing what you're doing. Thank you.